You guys need a super effective ab workout that's going to target each section of your core that you can be able to do in under 10 minutes. When well, this video, we're going to go through a five minute ab routine that's going to target every section of your core to be able to build it and define it effectively. Alright guys, so the way this workout is going to go is it's going to be 5 minutes, we're going to go 30 seconds performing each exercise, we're going to take a 15 second break in between, it's going to be a total of 6 exercises, I'm going to show you the 6 exercises that we'll be doing in this workout, and then we'll jump right into the circuit, so let's get into it.
that's going to be the end of this ab workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, definitely be sure to leave a like and comment on maybe what your favorite exercise was or just how hard it was and different feedback and how you guys enjoyed the workout. Definitely be sure to subscribe too, as I'm always uploading new content every week to help you guys get in shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. And at the end, I just want to give you guys this verse. All right, this is going to be in Second Chronicles chapter 20. It's going to be verses 16 through 18, which says, Tomorrow, go down against them. Behold, they will come up by the ascent of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley, east of the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, and the Lord will be with you. All right, guys, I want to go over that verse. I just want to ask you guys this question. What is maybe the toughest battle that you're going through in life right now or just the toughest circumstance that you seems like you just can't get through it at all? I ask you that question because I love how in this scripture, in that verse, how it really points out when Jehoshaphat was just really scared and worried, the battle seemed too great, that when he asked the Lord for help, the Lord specifically told him that this battle was not his and that this battle was the Lord's and to give it to him and that's how he will find victory. And if you continue to read on through the rest of that scripture, which I encourage you to do, you'll see how when he gives it to the Lord, God really comes through for him and him and his army doesn't even have to do any work to win that battle. God goes before them and gives them the victory. And I think God, especially when it comes to circumstances like that in our life when it seems like we have no hope, to really give that to God because God has the power to come through and give us that victory. And if you give it to him, I can assure you that there will be no penalty in that and God wants to help you in these circumstances. So I just ask you that question, what is the toughest battle or thing that you may be going through? And I encourage you to give it to God and be like Jehoshaphat because the Lord will go before you and the Lord will clear a pathway to help you get through it. So I just wanna leave you guys with that one and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.